friend, welcome to... Whoa, which way does it go? Easy mind, easy life. I always turn it the wrong way and then it looks funny. Okay, so now that we have an idea of what Reiki is, I'm um, hoping you realize it's just a philosophy. It's just a way of living, a way of life that you can choose to adopt at any moment. You can choose to step into those beautiful five principles. Make peace with your past so you no longer have to be angry. Live in the present moment so you don't need to worry about something that may never happen. <laughs> right? Have gratitude. Have love for everything that is appearing in your life right now because it's there for a reason. Even if you don't quite understand what that reason is yet, it will be revealed. Be present with every task that you are doing. Be present. Have your full attention on what's in front of you right now. You know, this one, as I was thinking about it this morning, number four, every task that you do, be diligent, right? Work with due diligence. And I remember I was going through, oh, actually I was reading, Your Past is a Gift. Um, it took me so long to write it and I spent so many months, right, gathering all these memories and then dissecting them to find the truth in all these memories that I didn't feel that I needed to go back to read it. <laughs> but recently I sent a copy to a friend and they were telling me how wonderful it was, you know, that more people need to read it. And I thought, oh, you know what, maybe I need to read it again. And as I did, there was a beautiful chapter on my daughter and I had completely forgotten. When you have a little one, right, and I'm talking about from the age of two to about the age of five, right, when they start kindy, to these little ones, right, to these young children, there's no concept of yesterday. When you ask them about the day before or the day before that, they don't remember anything. My daughter would come home from preschool, right? She was four. What did you do today? I don't know. You don't remember anything you did today? No. Can we go have an ice cream now? <laughs> that would be her response, right? <laughs> Can we go have an ice cream now was her response to how was your day? What did you do? I don't know, I can't remember, right? It's like it's wiped clean at the end of the day. And then, oh, something I learned the hard way. Never, ever, 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 ever <laughs> tell a toddler something that's going to happen in the future, right? Because sometimes there would be events that were going to happen in two weeks' time. And then she'd be asking me every five minutes, is it the time yet to do that? One, I think, was we were going to go see Disney on Ice, right? The Frozen uh, chapter one, you know, with the Disney on Ice. And it was like, I think it was like two weeks away. And I swear every day, every five minutes, Mom, are we going to go see the, the princesses on the ice yet? I'd be like, no, that's in two weeks. And then it would be like, no, it's still 10 days. And then I had to pull out a calendar and start crossing up the days so she could see when we were getting closer because otherwise she was asking me every five minutes, you know? Um, is it time yet? Is it time yet? You know, no concept of future. No concept of past, of yesterday, or even just a few hours back at preschool. No concept, no idea, no memory of it. I've forgotten. I don't, can't remember what I did. I don't know, Mum. Let's go have an ice cream. And instead of us learning from that, you know, we go into adult life with all this worry and fear about the future and all this anger and all this <laughs> crap that we took on from the past, right? And I know it's part of the journey. It's meant to be that way. But I'd forgotten how for those first few years of your life, you are fully present to what's in front of you right here, right now. There's no concept of, no idea. To them, the two weeks is like five minutes. Are we there yet? You know, are we going now? And what did you do five minutes ago? I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm concentrating on what we're doing now. <laughs> Why are you talking about five minutes ago? You know, that's a toddler. And uh, it's just magic. 
because when you realize what life is about and that life is just this moment there is nothing else you go back to that that beautiful way of being what happened happened and you can change the past by no longer being attached to it with anger and with fear and with pain you can look at the past through the eyes of love you can look at it in a different way so it no longer affects you in this present moment. If a memory comes up, you remember it. And you're grateful, you know, for what it has given you, for who you are today. And number five in Reiki, be kind to every living thing. Every single religion on the earth talks about this. Be kind. That's what we're here for to be kind to others, to help others, to support each other, to be connected to each other. Because we are all divine. All of us, not one of us has been sent down here without the divine inside. The universal life force energy is in every single one of us. So when you're looking at another person and they're making you angry and you're thinking all these thoughts, just stop for a minute. Because that person is in your life for a reason and they're there to show you that you're angry about something. And this anger is not really about them. They're just triggering it in you. They are gifting you this moment that you can explode and be angry again and you've probably done this hundreds of times in this lifetime in your adult years oh you can choose okay yes i can be angry yet again but this person is giving me an opportunity now instead of getting angry at them i can look at why am i angry what is she triggering in me that's making me angry? What have I stashed away? What attachment do I have to the past that is creating this anger? What event am I holding on to? You know, my first book was written because of a comment my husband made to me one day. I can't remember what the argument was we were going on about, but he said to me, and that's how the book started. You're still looking at your mother like you're five years old. So today I ask you the question. Are you still looking at your mother, father, guardian, whoever raised you? Are you still looking at them like you're five years old? Are you still looking at them with that pain, with that resentment, with that anger, or with that fear inside of you? That was actually the catalyst to that book. I had done that beautiful self-esteem course beforehand, but that question that day, it just got stuck in my head for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. Months went past before I started writing. And I realized, yes, I am. I am still looking at my mum like I'm five years old. And I've been tossed aside because my sister was born. It was the greatest gift. And sometimes the greatest gift will come from the person you least expect. So pay attention to what is showing up in your life right now. Because it is a gift to you. The universe is sending you this person deliberately for you to wake up all right my darlings so in this video okay in the description below there will be a link to a course that's called free reiki online.com something like that i think it's called free reiki online.com it's a uk course but it's reiki so for those of you who just want to know a little bit about it learn a little bit about it I would go there first because you can learn all about it for free there's no cost 
The only thing they charge is what's called the attunement, which you don't need to have at all, to be honest. Um, if all you want to do is learn about what Reiki is, um, like you could read the Tao Te Ching as well. That's free. You just need to get a copy of it, right? And there's heaps of copies online for free. You can listen to Wayne Dyer read it as well. That was really beautiful. I, super, I really enjoyed um, listening to him reading it. But there are so many places that you can get beautiful information from that will help you become more aware of who you are, of what's really happening here, you know? So rather than think, oh, Reiki, what is that? Because that's basically the email I got, right? And then I was like, you're dissing something that you know nothing about. And for me, it was like one of the most beautiful things that I've learned in this lifetime that helped me open up my eyes, you know, to the, to the truth. So, yeah. Now, also with that in the description will be the course that I did with Melissa because, as I said, I did three Reiki courses. And the first one was that one that was free because I wanted to first get an idea of what it was. Was I even interested in learning anything about it? And I was hooked from the beginning with the definition and with the five principles. I was, I was in. That was it. But that was not, it didn't resonate with me because I'm not a... I'm a huggy person, right? I'm, I'm really cuddly. But it wasn't something that I wanted to do with others. And especially if I'm working with strangers or anything like that, um, I don't want to be putting my hands on them physically, right? Um, I felt that there was a better way to do Reiki in, my, in myself or that maybe it wasn't called Reiki, what I was looking for. The second course I did online was through Udemy and I actually asked for a refund from that one because it was just a lady reading slides and I just felt like it was a copy of the free one that was online already <laughs> it was all exactly the same just the slides looked different and it was a lady reading it instead of a man so I thought well why am I paying for this right so I got my money back from that one after I did the first one because the first one's pretty simple it's mainly about the five principles and then I found Melissa Crowhurst online. Her course is called Natural Healer and she's got lots of different courses in there. So you've got meditation, you've got all sorts of other wonderful things that she provides as well as. Um, I did the Reiki, I did the chakras and the crystals with her that I enjoyed, but it was the, the Reiki mainly that, um, that I loved because I loved the method that she offered. And so her information will also be in the description. If you want to do Reiki for you, if you want the whole thing, you want the attunement, you want to learn a different method where you don't have to be putting your hands on other people. But in the meantime, at least go through the free one, get an idea for yourself, you know? You sit and meditate on the principles and see what comes up for you. How do they make you feel? What what messages come through for you when you think of each of the beautiful principles? You know, there are probably messages already coming up for you that aren't the same messages that I get. You know, everyone is different. And there's no right or wrong. It just is. Whatever comes up, it's, it's just right for you. So don't question it just because it's not the same as everyone else. It doesn't matter. All right, my darling? I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.